They're all set. And uh, away they go. Cat Benet broke well from the inside. Win happy. Win happy now clears on the outside. Being blessed in the white cap is right there as well. Alongside of that star entry now four lengths off the leaders. Party Town outside of that. Here's Sumo making headway. Sumo going all the way up to second in the red blinkers. Box of Chocolates is down at the rail and then comes Squalo Toro. In behind that is Big Scott Daddy and River Tiber is last. Into the turn they go and Win Happy very fast. Win Happy leads by just over two. Sumo coming after him from second. Party Town is third. Four lengths back to Boxer Chocolates trying to get involved late. The others are far back. A quarter of a mile to go and Win Happy he leads it by two lengths. Sumo being ridden along to go after it. Party Town on the outside. Boxer Chocolates running a big one. Boxer Chocolates running on down at the rail. They come for Hobart. Suddenly wide open now. Boxer Chocolates on the inside gets the lead. Party Town tries to go here. Squallow Toro coming with a late run down the centre. But Boxer Chocolates is well clear. And Box of Chocolates wins it about 4-5 in the end. Getting up second to Squall Toro. And right behind that is Party Town and Cat Bernay. The unofficial result, the winner number one, Box of Chocolates. Second number four, Squallow Toro. Third number nine, Party Town. Fourth number two, Cat Bernay. Result is official. In the eighth race, scratch number two, Tex Hanley. Now we're entering the winner's circle, number one, Box of Chocolates. This is six-year-old Brown Gelding by Candy Ride out of Lady Godiva. He's owned by Lambert and Diakisto. Winning trainer is Bob Hess Jr., whose assistant is G. Morales. Winning jockey, Ramon Vasquez. The winner was Brittany Kentucky by Peter Blum Thoroughbreds. 